Hello. Hi, ladies. Beth from Be Styled, and it's time for a late in the afternoon Tipsy Tuesday. Had some guys working on the floors at noon, so I couldn't come live, but I'm here um, later in the afternoon on Tuesday. So, hello. Thanks for joining, if you can. And today, I am talking about four easy to put together outfits from your closet for those days when you are about to just throw in the towel on the whole just get dressed thing and you're you know maybe it's like yesterday for me the weather was lousy rainy cold you know we're coming into that season in new england it's already cold and it's easy to just especially if you work from home or you don't have any plants it's easy to just say yeah no beth not happening just get dressed not happening and that's fine believe me that's fine there are days I don't get dressed well, you know, really either. But I have four outfits that are easy, very comfortable. There's not a single button or zipper involved in any of these outfits, and they're not complicated, and they're built from things that you probably own or you own similar items. And I'm gonna show you things from my closet. Yes, a lot of them are peach, um, because most of my, a lot of my clothes that I wear all the time are peach, but you don't have to buy peach. But if you do wanna buy peach, they are 20% off. They started today, a 20% off sale today, I think until Thursday. Don't quote me on that though, but I know it's happening today. And it's site-wide, so everything I show you from Peach is on sale 20% off. But I also have some other items from Amazon, some really budget-friendly items. And without further ado, here we go. Four outfits that you can put together any day. And you'll feel, you'll feel put together. You'll still feel comfortable, though. And you can take a nap. You can sit on the couch and, 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 and look a little bit better. Um, and you'll probably have a better day as a result, okay? Hello, hello, Jan and Julie and Sheila and everyone joining. Great to see you all. Um, okay, from the top, number one, stretchy pants. <laughs> stretchy pants, a white t-shirt, and then some sort of topper. That's, that's the, the formula, okay? I have four options here for stretchy pants. One, let's start with the Amazon option that I tell everyone to go out and buy, especially if you like Lululemon. These are very similar to, uh, to Lululemon material. Um, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. Um, but they are Amazon priced. They are fabulous. Everyone I know owns them. Even if you're not a joggers person, you might want to consider giving these a try because they're not really loose, but they're not too tight. They're just, there's this beautiful fabric. I don't know what they're made out of. They're, they don't... They're just good. They're just good. You gotta trust me. I I have them in this dark black camo. They also come in regular black, um, and a couple other neutral colors. But I love the dark camo because it's subtle and different, and it looks good with black without being all black. Okay. So pair of joggers. So there's the the Amazon ones. There's my favorite. You know my my boho joggers. If you don't own these or if you haven't tried them, now's a good time to try them. Twenty percent off. So comfortable. So I'd wear joggers um, or stretchy pants. Maybe you maybe you want to wear, maybe you have to go to the office. Maybe it's a rainy day and you have to go to the office and you can't wear joggers or stay in your pajamas. You know, a pair of stretchy waist ponty pants. These come in black or this great marine blue, also from Peach. Um, these are, they're, they're as comfortable as your yoga pants, but they are real pants. They have a real, real faux pocket in the back this is the back view flat waistband crop length on most um, if you're petite then it'll be full length they have a great little slit in the hem they're just a lot of you have them I, i'm preaching to the, speaking to the preaching to the choir right now but they also come in black but the blue is new and fun so you've got your blue or olive these are the olive simones or camo or black even or gray, better than black, would be gray, stretchy pant of some sort, okay? That you put that on your bottom, then you put on a white tee or tank or shirt or whatever, any white t-shirt, and then you put on a topper. You're going to the office, my go-to would be this blazer, this the Ponty blazer, because you can't tell me it's not comfortable. It does not feel like a blazer, and it looks like a blazer. You wear that with the white under it, and any of these pants, and you are comfortable, and you're dressed, and you look great. Put, put on a pair of black loafers, booties, you name it, okay? 
That's look number one. Stretchy, stretchy waist pants, white top, or it could be black, it could be gray, and then a topper. It could be, it, it could also be the stretch denim, it could be a stretch denim jacket if you didn't want to wear um, the blazer. Or it could be a cardigan. It could be a cozy cardigan. Like I have this cozy cardigan on. This I got at TJ Maxx Runway, and it's cashmere, and it's so, so good. I love Runway. If you're local, to, if you're local to me in um, Massachusetts, in Boxborough, Acton, Boxborough, this is from the Acton TJ Maxx. They still have it, and it is win. It's a winner. It's it's kind of a cropped. Sh well, not cropped, but just a short, um, pretty light blue. Ca really nice cashmere. The brand is N A A M A N. I looked online to see if I could find a link, and I couldn't. But that's the brand. But it was TJ Maxx Runway, so maybe you have it near you. Um, or what about just a hoodie? Asked Jan. Absolutely, as long as it's as long as it's like a, a cool hoodie. In fact, I love that idea, Jan. Especially, yeah, if it's like a let's say you have like a pink hoodie, um, that's that's not like a big thick sweatshirt necessarily. You could put that on with your joggers, put the hoodie on, and then throw a jean jacket or even the Ponty blazer, and then have your hood sticking out, and put on a pair of white sneakers, Jan. And you are so comfortable and so put together and so modern looking and as and literally as comfortable as if you were wearing pajamas. So you got your hoodie on, you go to the soccer field, watch your grandkids, play sports, whatever, your kids. Okay? That's a great point. I love that. I love the look of a hoodie with a jacket over it and the hood popping out with white sneakers. Okay? Good question. Okay, number two proves that I that I am kind of a liar because I said no buttons and no snaps or, or zippers. But we're going to jeans, but I wanted to share the jeans that I, I'm going to link all this in the first comment once I hang up. But these are the democracy je jeans that a lot of us got on Amazon. Um, they're awesome. Wit and Wisdom, I believe, owns democracy or vice versa. So it's got that. Look at that. <laughs> This is the waistband. You don't see that. No one sees that you've got an elastic waistband. They are great looking jeans, but they are comfortable. So you throw these on and this is all you have to do. Just tr trust me. You want to look sharp and put together, put on a pair of cool jeans, cuff them, put on a pair of white sneakers, pair of loafers, pair of booties, and then just put on a white button down, a white button down shirt. And you can, if you want to be really casual and hip and cool, you can tie it at your waist. I have pictures of all this that I'm gonna post. You can just tie it, a la Marianne from um, Gilligan's Island. These are high, high waist enough, but not too high, that you can just tie a button down shirt and then just wear your loafers and that's it. Especially for you people who are in warm weather and you're not wearing a bunch of layers, white button down shirt, jeans, loafers, you're good if you tie the waist. Or if you don't wanna tie the waist, you can, but you, you know, tuck in the shirt and wear a belt. This is the Amazon belt that I link all the time. I'm gonna link. Um, so you've got your, your jeans, your a belt. It could be a cognac belt, depending on your shoes or, or whatever you wanna wear. It could be a leopard belt. And then your white button down, a white, white crisp button down. This is the, the peach trailblazer that I rave about all the time because it doesn't wrinkle, it doesn't, it, it's just, it, you can tie it and then untie it and it's not wrinkled. Um, and that's your outfit. Throw on a necklace, throw on some earrings, put hair in a ponytail, you're out the door. Now, let's say you, you're not a white button down. You're not a crisp white button down girl. A lot of you aren't, and I get that. Then maybe you want to get just a, maybe it's just a white t-shirt. If you're very casual, wear your, your favorite white t-shirt with that same outfit. White and denim. Ask Jennifer Anderson. Works every time. Or this is the Ann Taylor, I think it's called the perfect shirt or the essential shirt. I think this, is, this one's the essential. And this is also good if you don't want stark white because I think this is a little slightly off white. It's dressier, but it's it's more of a blouse. So if you're if you don't like the stiff white button down look and you want more of a blouse, just put this on with a pair of jeans and a belt and some loafers and a necklace. And you've got your stretchy pants. This is a loose blouse. I mean, this to me this isn't like lounging on the on the couch kind of um, top, whereas the trailblazer would be because it doesn't wrinkle and it's just stretchy and everything. But um, this, this is a good substitute if you're not a white button-down person or a t-shirt or a white sweater, a white sweater. If you give me one second, I'm gonna go show you a white sweater. Hold on, this is it. Yeah, I'm talking, I had it hanging in my bathroom. 
this is a way, the other way, because if, if it's colder where you are, or you're, if you want to be cozier and not wear a white button down, wear, get a white, wear a white sweater. Maybe you already have one. This is an Amazon one that I just got. I'm deciding whether I need it or not. I also love the Quince V-neck cashmere in white. I'm ordering that and deciding. Um, but a white sweater, jeans, loafers, so simple is my point and comfortable. Okay. That's outfit number two. Number three, we're going to an old favorite formula that I guess some people might say, oh, well, it's not in style anymore. We're not wearing leggings anymore. We're not, we're not doing that. But the reality is everyone's still wearing leggings. You work out in leggings. A lot of people don't want to wear joggers. They prefer leggings. And I think a legging look can be great, especially if you're, if you're styling it with long, long enough layers over it or a long enough t-shirt. So you could wear your regular black workout leggings, whatever you choose. Or I, I, if I'm getting really going somewhere besides the gym, I love my black Ponte. These are actually pants, but they're very fitted. So they have that similar look of leggings without being skin tight like leggings. So a black Ponte, this is a full length pant. Mary's doing her dishes. That's what all that rattling is. So you start with your black fitted pants, leggings. It could be ponty leggings. They could be your workout leggings. Or they could be camo black leggings, whatever. And then a longer top, like so. This is, this is a high-low, comes in black also. Um, it's a tank. I wear it year-round, though. It's okay that it's a tank because you're going to layer over it. And, it. and the fact that it's a tank makes it easier to put layers on. Um, and what I love about this is it's long. It covers your lady parts. <laughs> it's a little bit longer in the back and long enough in the front that it definitely covers. Um, and um, I've got a question here. Anyway, um, so I would, I would put the leggings on or the Ponte leggings, this top, high-low, and then a layer. And... Um, Here's, and Lori, that's a great question. Lori's asking, what is Ponty? Ponty is a word I throw around all the time. You'd think I'd have a great definition. It is a knit pant. It is a, it is, or it could be a jacket. It's a fabric. Ponty is a fabric. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> you got to feel it. Somebody to want to tell me what it is. I don't even know what it's made out of. I use the term all the time. Glasses, glasses, glasses. Ponty is made of rayon, nylon, and spandex. So it is a machine washable, it's a fabric that is a, it's a knit fabric um, for what it's worth. And that's what it's made out of. But the beauty of Ponte is it holds its shape. It is not, um, it's not legging material. It is real pants. It has, it has just, it's just a great fabric. You gotta, someone, someone, um, someone's gonna have to help me. It's a knit, right. It's a knit, but it's good. It's a really good fabric. It's a great fabric. There are great Ponte dresses. There are great Ponte pants and blazers. I don't think you really see Ponte shirts necessarily. Really, it's just pants, occasionally dresses, and definitely like the, the Ponte blazer. is. It's just what it's made out of, just the fabric. And it's maybe it's, maybe it's a little dressy. I don't know. It's a knit. It's just not... Um, it's, it's, it's just good. It's good because it doesn't pill, it's machine washable, it doesn't wrinkle, and it's got some, some heft, not heft to it, some, it's substantial, it's not flimsy, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it's not like a jersey where it clings to every lump and bump. It is smoothing, it's thick enough that it sucks you in and smooths you out, and it has a lot of stretch. You ladies are helping me. It is, it's, it's great. Okay, so that's that's my little made up definition of Ponty. So back on number outfit number three, you've got your legging tight pants. You pick, um, you know, and again, some women are like, I'm not wearing leggings in public, which more power to you. In which case, maybe it's a Ponty knit pant. Maybe it's a maybe it's a, a black um, like a black skinny jean is another great example. But then you're not as comfortable, right? Because it's a skinny jean and you got to zipper it up. But maybe, maybe it's one of the, maybe it's like a jegging, you know, a slim fitting black pant, okay? Then you've got your longer top, could be a color. I'm just using white as a good example that covers your, you know, 
if it's a really fitted pant, you want to you want to have a length, some length in your top, and then you throw a topper. You could throw some. You could have some color. You know, you could throw. This is this is a long duster cardigan. This is the Freeport by Peach. This is my favorite um, cardigan. The Flyaway I talk about all the time from Peach. This is perfect with leggings. It's got great coverage in the back. It's got you know an angled hanging draping front. So flattering. I wear I wear this with leggings all the time. I wear this every time I go to my bar class. Pretty much. I wear leggings, a tank, and throw this on. And I wear this sometimes for the first couple minutes of the class. Um, and you can tie it and whatever. So, so that is just, that's a great formula. It's, it's, a, it's one we've been wearing for years and it's still, it's still modern looking. I would add a, a white sneaker to, to it to make it casual and modern. But you could also wear a booty, like a black booty, black ankle boot with, with a ponty type pant or even a black legging. Um, that's totally fine as long as it's not like a, as long as it's it's a kind of a sleek booty. Because if it's a really chunky and clunky booty, and then you've got your skinny little leg, it's gonna look un, out of proportion. Where are my black booties? Um, my Yale, my 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 black Yale booties by um, Mark Fisher. Someone, Shaney told me that Mark Fisher booties, the Yale booty by Mark Fisher, is on sale in Nordstrom today. Those are my favorite booties. Um, I have them in cloud suede and black leather. They are not inexpensive, but if they're on sale, they're very comfortable for me at least. Okay. So that was, that was the third outfit. That's kind of your, your leggings, long top outfit. Um, and I, I prefer the, like a, the, with the leggings look, a t-shirt and then like a layer as opposed to the, the what we used to remember we used to wear it all the time I guess it was in the 90s the leggings and the tunic the big long tunic top um, that that can work but even with the long tunic I would then put like a jean jacket on over the tunic or something to give that tunic some shape so you're not just wearing like this big tunic with your leggings like that I think that look is kind of passe um, but a straight, not tunicky, but longer t-shirt, and then a great modern layer over it with your leggings, I think is a great look. And then throw on a necklace or a pair of earrings. Okay. And you're, you're so comfortable too. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to put a dress on ladies. Yes, we are. <laughs> Even on a day like that, it is your one and done solution. And especially for you ladies who live where it is not cold yet, and if, if, the, if you're rolling out of bed and you don't feel like putting clothes on, throw a dress on, just a t-shirt dress. This is a favorite of my people. This is an Amazon, uh, it's probably Amazon Essentials. I, I link it, it's like stretchy, it comes in solids. I have the stripe, it's like a swing t-shirt dress. It's got three quarter sleeves, it's got a nice universally flattering, you know, it's not a tight crew, but it's not a V, you know, it's a good neckline on a lot of people and it hits me at my knee. It hits me actually slightly below my knee. So it's not a mini dress by any stretch. And what's great about this is you can throw it on and it's like a nightgown. <laughs> it's very comfortable, but you put this on with any of the toppers that I've talked about with the jean jacket. This is, you know, a favorite, favorite look. You could wear this and sneakers if it's really casual instead of, you know, your go-to, just put this on with, with a pair of white sneakers or with, um, or if you want to dress it up, wear it with like tall black suede boots with a little bit of a heel. I have a picture with that. Um, and you could put, if you wanted to wear it to work, you could do that and throw on your black blazer, a long necklace, and that's just so good. The other option is just a solid black dress. Just, you know, I call them a day dress. You, you, I feel like you need to have a really comfortable, that's not, no fuss, no, like, you know, nothing that you, when you put on, you just like, can't wait to take it off because it's so uncomfortable. Dresses can be that way. This is, this is the peach signature dress or essential dress. It's one or the other, but it's, it's that great performance fabric. Um, talked about this last week. It's a great travel dress because it doesn't wrinkle. It's flattering on lots and lots of bodies. I've seen it on all different shapes and sizes. And yes, it's sleeveless, which I know a lot of people don't like, but that makes it so easy to layer. It is so good with a jean jacket, with a cozy cardigan. Um, I have pictures of all this. Um, with a 
fly away cardigan, you know, this kind of cardigan, jean jacket, and with, and with casual, with, with any of your blazers, any of your, if you work in an office, any of your blazers, you could throw on over this, um, whether it's a longer blazer or a shorter blazer. Where's my, oh, I know what I didn't show you. For the leggings look, let's say you want to wear the leggings look, but you want to be, you want to get, dress it up. You know, a, a cool jacket like this, this is the dismount jacket with just the white t tank top under it. Um, is that black on black look that people in the fall group were wearing yesterday. It's so chic. Yes, you can wear black on black, especially if you put some white near your face, throw some silver or gold earrings on, depending on your coloring, and that softens the black, all the black. But that's just like, if, if you're like, I don't know what to wear, I gotta do, black on black, you know, and, and the beauty of the jacket like this is it has some variation. It's not just a plain black jacket, so it's not just black jacket, black pants. It's 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 got some interest, in, or you could wear like something with some texture or some details on it, but um, the beauty of this is it's it's long, It's but it's not bulky, but it's long, so you get that coverage when you're wearing skinny pants or leggings. Um, so that's that's a dressier look and that could even take you to those that and the skinny leg ponty pants could take you to a lot of offices depending on on your dress codes um same with a long cardigan like this I, this one is at, hard to find at nordstrom it's available in other colors and i'm linking it i found a similar one on amazon amazon um one of their brands has a similar boucle cozy long cardigan very similar to this and I'm gonna put all those links as soon as I'm done in the first comment. And I'm also gonna post pictures of all these outfits so you can visualize them. And then you, you go to your closet and make, you know, see what you have that you can build these. So the next time you wake up and it's raining or it's cold or you don't feel great, you can just be like, I'm just gonna throw on one of those four outfits. Um, and depending on what you're doing, make it work. Staying at home, going to work, Shaved your legs, didn't shave your legs. You get the idea. Okay? That's what I have for you today, ladies. Late, but I got it in. I haven't missed a Tuesday in a long time. Aren't you proud of me? Consistency. There you go. I want to make sure we don't have any questions. Um, does the flyaway cardigan work for shorter women? It sure does, Kathy. I see it. Um, I mean, Francesca, who is on, uh, does the videos from the home office, she is probably 5'3", I would say. And she she models it all the time. Um, and the, I think the reason it works is it is it doesn't have any, it's, it hangs. It has some, it has some weight in that it's stretchy and it, it's, which allows it to hang and drape. Um, but it's not overwhelming. I would size down in it. I would definitely size down in it because it's so stretchy. You don't need it. It's not. It's not structured, so you don't need to worry about um, having it be, be too small. It's never gonna. I don't. It, I. I would size down at least one full size on this, um, or just one size. Comes in this color. Comes in um, black. Comes in twig, which is this color, same color as my Simone pants. It now comes ha -ha, in this color, marine blue, which is really quite spectacular um i'm cons i i have this marine blue so and then i don't know if i can justify another one but i highly recommend that if that color is something you like um because it you know you wear that with black with it looks good with denim it looks good with gray um anyway so that's that question the two different earrings i was wondering about the two different earrings do i have two different earrings on do i have two different earrings on I think I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm wearing two different earrings. That is so funny. No, that was not intentional. <laughs> these are flirty finds. These are the hammered hoops. And these are Stella and Dot that are a little dressier. Oh, that is funny. Caught me. Yeah, it's the newest trend, Julie. That's the new trend is to wear two unmatching earrings. Didn't you know that? Where have you been? Ladies, come on, get up with the program. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you guys don't miss anything. Did you notice I have a bruise on my face? I banged my, my, a door into my face yesterday. I got a nice black and blue on my cheek. Um, it's a thick knit, <laughs> lots of stretch. That's Ponty. Um, 
do you have on two different earrings? How many of you noticed that? Oh my gosh. And now that I see it, I notice it too. Attention to detail, Beth. Not my, um, not my forte. So Jan, you have the white quince cashmere. I'd be curious to know if it's um, see-through at all. Um, or if it's, their their cashmere is great. I don't think I, I will add that to my links. It's, Quince is a great brand. And the, their cashmere V-neck sweaters, I have the gray one. They're $50, which for, for high quality Mongolian cashmere is great. Um, let's see. That blouse, that loose blouse might work. If the loose blouse, that's Ann Taylor. Um, so people who, yeah, if your broad shoulders feel constricted, um, you can go up a size. But then, yeah, you don't want you don't want it to be too baggy. Lori, I'm wondering if you've tried the the Trailblazer. Um, this this is great for broad shoulders because this has a lot of stretch, a lot of stretch. Um, it's worth a try. It's and you can get it for twenty percent off today. And then return it. Their returns are very easy, and I'm always happy to help. Thank you for the Gilligan's Island reference. One of my husband's favorite. Are you a Marianne or are you a um, the other girl? What was it? Oh, Ginger. Ginger. I always really would have preferred to have been Ginger, but I just wasn't born that way. <laughs> so I was Mary Ann. Do you have on two different earrings? Okay, ladies, everyone's noticing my two different earrings. And I'm going to start a new trend. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. Oh, any other questions? Any other things you want to notice about myself? My two different earrings? Is my bra showing? <laughs> <laughs> that's just so funny anyway it is tipsy tuesday promise i'm not tipsy though promise anyway um i guess before i start to ramble which i'm famous for doing i should say goodbye but i want to make sure you don't have any questions it's not see-through and it's so soft the quince the quince um the quince cashmere all right i'm going to add that to my list of links that are coming in the next five minutes i just have to paste them on and add a couple um, if you have any questions about anything I've talked about, let me know. If you have any peach questions, let me know. Um, and the, again, 20% site-wide at, um, at peach. And Annette asking me about skincare makeup videos. I am, well, between you and me and all of you, I am trialing, I'm working on a new skin, trying a new skincare program. I've just, I'm on my first, I, finish, I think I've been on it for one week and I really like it. But before I share about it, I want to, I want to, I took some before pictures. I want to really, you know, do some more research before I, before I recommend it. But I will be doing that. Um, and I love to find experts on skincare and makeup because that is not an area that I'm an expert on. I'm trying to learn more, especially about the skincare. And I've been doing a lot of research as it relates to this new product, product line I'm trying. Um, but I am, I, I definitely want to have a makeup professional <laughs> come on sometime and give some easy, doable makeup tips. Um, cause it's something I am struggle with. Um, and I just kind of wing it and I watch a lot of YouTube, but I, what I, who I highly recommend if you don't already follow her is Angie Hot and Flashy. She's my favorite, um, or one of my favorites. And then the other one is, um, Dominique Sachse. Those are two over 50, um, beauty bloggers that are phenomenal. Angie Hot and Flashy and Dominique S-A-S-C-H-E Sachse. Um, and I do represent, I do represent Beauty Counter makeup and I love their lipsticks and a couple of their different products. Um, but I, I don't have like one line that I use I, for makeup, especially I use all different kinds of things and try all different kinds of things, but I love their lipsticks, Beauty Counter lipsticks, Lip Genius. I wear the plum all the time, pretty much year round. Um, let's see. Just signing on. What did I miss? Hi, Jamie. What did you miss? You missed that I'm wearing two different earrings <laughs> and that 15 people noticed and I didn't, but that's it. You'll have to go back and watch. Catch the replay. All right, ladies. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. Bye for now.